Well, howdy folks. Welcome back to my channel. It's time for another unboxing video today. And if you're a subscriber to the channel, you probably remember not that long ago, I did an unboxing video of this. It's the Stylophone Beat. It's a little Stylophone based groove box. And this was sent to me by one of my subscribers. So my wife got me this for Christmas, which is the Stylophone Gen X1 which uh, basically is a moder a twist on the, on the traditional style of film by adding more controls and stuff. Okay, then much to my surprise, so that came from left field. Then uh, when I went to have Christmas with my family, my older sister got me this, and it's the uh, style of phone that commemorates David Bowie. It's basically the original style of, style of phone with a different sort of finish. So there'll be an unboxing video coming of this. Stay tuned for that. But for today, we're gonna take a look at this one. Now the David Bowie Stylophone also comes, or doesn't come with, but also has a commemorative case for it too. So you can see here, it says Bowie on the case. And my sister actually got me both of them. So pretty cool. We're gonna take a look at those today. I'm gonna to set the case to the side for a second. Let's go ahead and get the box open here. So there we go. Right up on top, we see the instructions. So there is our instruction manual. I'll set that to the side for a minute. Then it comes with this little commemorative uh, David Bowie book. So this book has all kinds of, you know, facts and whatnot. David Bowie, if you're not aware, was an advocate of the original Stylophone. He played it on a lot of his songs, including Space Oddity, um, you know, one of his biggest hits. And you can actually see here, I'm not sure well that's gonna show up, but there's a photo of him using the Stylophone on stage. So um, he was a big advocate of it, and that's probably why they did a commemorative version for him. But here is our stylophone. So let's go ahead and get it out of the box. One thing that's different, if you if you look at the what they call the stylophone um, S1 now, it does not have this like circular cutout around where the speaker's at. That's something that looks more like the vintage ones. And so I think they kind of added that here. It has this David Bowie logo here. Um, and then of course it has the standard stylus that pops out. Uh, if we look here, we've got two switches. One switch is the power on and off and one turns the vibrato on and off. We've got an audio output here. On this side, we've got a volume control. And then the only other control that you can see is right here. There is a um, tone switch. So this has three different uh, tone settings and we'll go through those in just a minute. Also on the bottom, we see there is the battery door, which is screwed shut. So I'll need to get a screwdriver so I can put batteries in it. And then we see there is a little knob here. That is the tuning knob. Let's go ahead and get the case open also. So here we go. Here is the case. So you can see it's got a little strap up here. It's got these little zipper pulls and it has a Stylophone logo on one of the zipper pulls. And then it has a Bowie logo on the other zipper pull, if you can see that. And we'll go ahead and unzip it and Oh, that's kind of nice. It's got a little like pocket here where you could probably put your literature. Yeah, there you go. So you can see the stylophone fits pretty much perfectly in there and then it should zip up very nicely. There we go. Okay, so that's kind of a quick overview and the features and whatnot. Let's go ahead and plug this baby in and see what it sounds like. Okay, so here we have our stylophone Bowie. I went ahead and put batteries in it. it takes three double A's if you are curious. And also one thing to note here, my instruction manual that came with it, it has multiple languages, but none of them are English. Not really sure what's going on there. Anyway, but in any case, let's go ahead and power it on. You can see we have two switches here, so let's click the power switch. And then uh, if I go ahead and touch one of these, you should hear a tone. Okay, that is the leftmost setting. Let's go ahead and try the middle setting for sound. So you can hear that one appears to be an octave higher. And then we'll try this one. It's a slightly different sound, but again, that one's definitely higher than this one. All right, let's go ahead and try the vibrato real quick. So we can hear that little effect. Um, let's just try to play something on here just to see what it sounds like.
So it sounds pretty cool. All right, let's go back to the middle setting here. And we'll try the rightmost setting. So obviously if you hold, you can slide, or you can do like individual notes like And of course you can turn the vibrato off. I kind of like it on. Um, and again, the three different sounds. So pretty simple, pretty straightforward, pretty basic, not a lot of features on this thing. So the additional thing in the book here, um, if you look down at the bottom, it has how to play some of David Bowie's tunes. And it has this little sort of tablature here and it tells you uh, which key to hit on the stylophone and then if you're holding it it has this little line or if it's an interrupted uh it has kind of spaces between which is how you sort of read this here you can kind of slide between or do what have you with that i'm just gonna see if we go back to here certainly one of the most famous um songs is space oddity which they have here so let's try to play space oddity as they have it here in the book Okay, so that's not what David Bowie played on the album, obviously, because he was just kind of playing a drone line underneath, but you can see what they're doing there. Ground control to major tom. Ground control to major tom. Take your protein pills and put your helmet on. Okay, and just in case somebody asks, I'll go ahead and unplug the direct audio here. So here's what the speaker sounds like. Or sliding and the vibrato is on by the way here's what the vibrato off so there you go so with without the uh, direct audio the speaker is, is not terribly loud but it does allow you to hear it um, and uh, you know kind of practice things or work them out and that's actually how David Bowie did it and even when he played live he typically just held the stylophone and held the small speaker up to the microphone so there you go um, if you're familiar with these, you're probably saying, hey, that's just an S1 stylophone with a different paint job. And that's basically true. If you are not familiar with these, hopefully that gave you a good introduction. They are a heck of a lot of fun. Okay, so that was a quick unboxing and overview of the stylophone Bowie. Um, you can pick these up. These are about $40, not expensive at all. And you can get them from all kinds of places, including Amazon, eBay, you know, you name it. And um, you can also pick up the regular stylophone, which is, you know, very similar, just has a black finish. Uh, but, you know, this is kind of something unique, and especially if you're a David Bowie fan, this might be perfect for you. I really like it. I'm sure it'll make some appearances in future videos, and you guys know I'm a fan of small sense. So, anyway, thanks for tuning in. If you like what I do on this channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button for me. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys soon.